to Dominating Dominion. I'm Zach. And I'm Ben. And we're playing another game of Dominion with lots of attack cards. Oh, but not like as many as last time. No. It's a little more balanced, this game, so it'll be a lot more interesting to watch. Mm -hmm. We've also got new promo cards! Like this event. Promo cards are cool. Yeah, Rio Grande sent us some promo cards to cover. So thank you guys yeah. for sending us the promo cards. We've got a, a few of them in this game. We'll have more in as we go through. We have, this is the first time we're playing with the, any of these promo cards, so it'll be cool to see. Mm -hmm. So you'll hear our first thoughts on them. We haven't had any practice or anything with them, but uh, we'll see how they go in this set and what we think of the new cards. Um, otherwise, that's there's nothing much more to say. We're going to play through the set and tell you what we think of the cards and help you with your strategies. So let's get going. On this week in Dominating Dominion, we have Rat Catcher, Watchtower, Tunnel, Swindler, Walled Village, Messenger, Sea Hag, Stash, The Night Pile, Minions, and Summon as our event. I've got three. I'll take a Rat Catcher. I'm going to do three, a... Swindler. Four, a sea hag. Four, a sea hag. I'm going to play a sea hag. Each other player discards the top card of his deck and then gains a curse putting it on top. Ooh. Now I've got two, I'll take a rat catcher. Sea hag. <laughs> uh. Bye, Rat Catcher. Yeah! Bye bye! Then I got two. I got a Rat Catcher. Done. Four. Take a walled village. I got four as well. I'll take a walled village. Three. Take a watchtower. A rat catcher. Card in action. I put that on the tapper mat. That started one of my future turns. I can call this and trash a card. Then I'll play a swindler. Flip your top card. I get two coins Wall as well. Bill. So now you trash it and I give you a four card. you a messenger. Then I've got three. I'll take a watchtower. Sea hag. I've got three. I'll take a watchtower. <laughs> it was a curse. Alright, a walled village. I get a card and two actions, just like a normal village. The thing that's different is at the start of the cleanup phase, if you have this and no more than one other action card in play, I can put this on top of my deck. Then I'll do a Sea Hag. Sea Hag. It's a watchtower. Then I've got one, two, three. I shall take. Hmm. I I'll play a Rat Catcher. Uh, my Walled Village does get to go back on top. Rat catcher and a sea hag. Then I've got two. I'll take the rat catcher. Another one of these things. Yep. Hope I got a watchtower. Is that sea hag? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I got rat catcher. I'm gonna trash this estate. To a walled village. Then I've got three. I will take another watchtower. My walled village gets to go on top. I'll call my rat catchers, both, oops, both of them, and trash a curse and an estate. Then I'll play a watchtower, so I draw until I have six cards. One, two, three. Four. I now have six cards. I have four. I'll take a walled village. A walled village. Then a swindler. 
Hey, let me give you a good deal here. I'm gonna give you a good deal. You want a good deal? I'm gonna give you a good deal. Flip a card. It's a copper. Sure, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. Huh? Alright, here we go. I'm gonna give you a good deal here. Good deal here. Here's a, here's a nice little bird. Nice. That bird. Alright, then I got six. Then I get to put my walled village back on top. Five. I'll take a stash. Ooh. That's a fancy. All right, here we go. I'm going to play this walled village. Draw one card. Then I'll play a sea hag. Then I'll play this watchtower. I get to draw until I have six cards in my hand. Six. And now I've got five. I'll do summon. So I get to gain an action card costing up to four. I'll gain this walled village. And I set it aside. If I do at the start of my next turn, I play it. I'll play a rat catcher. A rat catcher, a walled village, a messenger, and I will put my deck in my discard. Whoa! Oh, messenger gives you a buy, two coins, and you may put your deck into your discard. And its ability is if it's if you if this is your first buy, you gain a card costing up to four, and everyone else gets a copy of it. But I played it. I'm going to play a sea hand. Oh. Oh, no. And I've got three. I'll take another rat catcher. All right, my walled village goes into play. So I get my card and two actions. Now I have a rat catcher. I'm going to do my special event with putting that stash aside. So the cool thing about stash is it's two coins, and when you shuffle, you may put this anywhere in your deck. And it's got a nice little red back. I'm going to put it as the sixth card. Five. By night. This one's Dame Josephine. So uh, each night trash is a card. You flip two cards, and if it's a three to six, one of them is trash the person uh, chooses. Uh, and then each effect on every night is different for the other one. This one is two points. Start my turn, I'm going to call a rat catcher and trash an estate. Then I'm going to play a walled village. Get me my stash. And I have four. I'll take a tunnel. Put my walled village back on top. Alright, calling my rat catcher to trash this curse. And I'll play a swindler. It's a curse. Dang. No, I'm revealing a watchtower. Oh. Instead of gaining this curse, I'm going to trash it. Because what a watchtower allows you to do is, when you gain a card, no. you may reveal this from your hand. If you do, either trash that card or put it on top. Thanks. Not muffin. Not muffin. Because call this rat catcher to trash a curse. Got rid of some curses that round. I'll play a rat catcher. And then a walled village. The watchtower. Draw three. Mm -hmm. A sea hack. A sea hack. A sea hack. You still have to discard the top card. Why copper? I don't get it. Is and that it? it? The curse pile's gone? Yep. That's one pile down. Three, a tunnel. Oh. Walled village. Uh-oh, I have to shuffle. Watchtower, draw two. Set aside the stash. Let me get another rat catcher. Set that back on top. And I'm gonna put this one third from the top. I'm going to use this rat catcher to trash a copper. And then I'll play a rat catcher to draw my stash. And play a walled village. And 
play a watchtower. Draw three. One, two, three. I'll play five and take a stash. Old village. Then I've got Dame Josephine for the top two. Messenger. So that's gone. Then I got six. I'll take another gold. And since there's only one action card other than this in play, back on top. Oh, I'll call my rat catcher to trash back. an estate. And then I'll play a rat catcher. And then I'll play a rat catcher. And then I'll play a sea hag. So you have to discard the top card of your deck. Ha! And that's it. And I'm gonna put my stashes Oops, on one. top. All right, so it's Sea Hag. Yep. So discard your top card, okay. and here's the curse. Watch tavern. <laughs> There's the curse. All right, here we go. Walled village. Now another walled village. And now a Sea Hag. Woo! Thanks. <laughs> I'm a little worried. Maybe I won't play those anymore because you do have tunnels. <laughs> yep. Uh, all right. Then a watchtower, I get to draw three cards. One, two, three. Then a walled village. And a rat catcher. That goes there. Then another watchtower, draw one card. And now I've got three, four, five, six, seven. I grab this gold. And none of my walled villages go back. I have, I have a lot of action. Call both of these rep catchers to trash two coppers. And I'm going to play Watchtower to draw four. One, two, three, four. And I've got six. I'll take a stash. Okay, I'm calling forth my rat catcher to trash the estate. There, got to remember that. Rat catcher. And a swindler. Wall Billy. I'm gonna give you another messenger. Or no, a sea hag. <laughs> now they're okay to give. Then I got four. Get, what do I get? Okay, what so I, I buy a messenger. So uh, if this is the first buy, I get a four card, and everybody gets to set four card. What do I get? What do I get? What do I get? Rat catcher. Okay. Card costing at the four, not a four. Yeah. I'll play a rat catcher. And you know what? When I shuffle, those stashes are going to go on top. Oh. 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 There's a curse there, right? Okay, stashes, go on top. We'll put you somewhere in the middle, because I don't care about you. Wow, that's rude. That stash goes there. So then I draw me a card, which is, hey, look, a stash. And then a rat catcher, hey, look, a stash. And I've got five. I'll take a stash. I'm going to call forth this rat catcher to trash a curse. And then six, a gold. I'm gonna call forth this rat catcher to trash a curse, and this rat catcher to trash a sea hat. And I'm gonna play a rat catcher, so I draw a card. Oh, it's on the floor now. But a hey, look, it's a rat catcher, so I'll draw another card. And then I'll play a watchtower, so I draw four. There's my deck. And I've got two, three, four. Take a walled village. And then I'm shuffling everything. Woo, high stashes set aside. Right, a walled village. And a walled village. And this rat catcher. Four stashes on top. A swindler. Another. <laughs> you can't get rid of that on me. Then Dame Josephine. Come on, no tunnel. Two. Oh! <laughs> Call 
on this rat catcher to trash a copper. And then I've got eight because I rigged it to get four stashes together. Problems. That's quite nice. Calling forth the rat catcher to get rid of this copper. Four. Downgrade this one. Calling forth this rat catcher to trash a copper. Then I'll play a rat catcher, draw a card. I'm going to play a watchtower, so that's four, five, and then I get one more card. Those are going to go out. How much more do I have in my hand? I got that. Okay, I don't want to stash. So we're going to put the steves, the next four cards, after I draw the top card. So hey, look. Did I call both of these? No, I played one and called the other. There we go. And then... One. I'm going to gain a copper and then use a watchtower to trash it. I'm just that special. Wall village. Was there a point to that? No. For a catcher. Then a sea hag. Fire hag catcher. Then a messenger. We'll put my deck in my discard pile. And I've got eight cards. I'll play a rat catcher. Draw a card. Eight. Robins. Oh, look! I get to rig my deck again. Hi, right, these are going on top. I'll call forth my rat catcher to trash that. Then I'll play another rat catcher. Then I'll play Messenger. I will put my deck in my discard pile. Wow. Then I got five and two buys. A duchy. Wow. Play a rat catcher. And I'll play a sea hand. You'll have to discard your top card. And I've got eight a province. Oh no! Here's your curse. Rat catcher to get rid of sea hag. Rat catcher. Rat catcher. A walled village. Then a swindler. It's a province. Give me a province. A messenger. We'll put my deck in my discard pile. I've got seven and two pies. Ouch. I will call forth one rat catcher to trash. A watchtower, and I'll play a rat catcher, and then I'll play a watchtower to draw three. And I've got one. That's it. I have four stashes. Village, Wall Village, Messenger. Damn. Oh, Rat Catcher, Eight Province. Swindler. It's a rat catcher. To an estate. Did I put my rat catcher on my tavern mat or the trash? 
one on the trash. I'm hoping I put it there. Anyway, I'm going to call three rat catchers. Trash two sea hags and copper. Okay, I have to do some calculations here. I'm drawing two more. Trashed all mine before I got to use them. Good. They are good too. <laughs> Twenty three. Thirty four. Okay, Zach, I'm sorry. Yeah. But my stashes were stashed. Once away. I saw that start and I was like, oh no, stash is pretty good. That's definitely a powerful ability yeah. you have. You probably had what, fifteen cards in your deck I or so? I had a I had a very small amount, but I was going to go Messenger if I had a larger deck. Yeah. Just because I'd be like, okay. Shuffle almost everything. Oh, time. yeah. I didn't even see that combo. That combo would have been mm -hmm. pretty good. So, yeah, definitely good. It needed, uh, I'll get to stash more and how to kind of, how I kind of saw you going up against that. Mm -hmm. But it just uh, didn't happen in this deck. There was one other way you might have been able to. Might have. Yeah. Good intent. Uh, first up, our first card here. Two card. Rat Catcher. One of the, the, I feel, one of the best trash, trash cards. cards. Yeah. Other than Chapel. Yeah. Chapel, I think, still surpasses this in some ways. But uh, the nice thing about this one is... Chapel's uh, a way better play. early game, and this is just a great all-game trash yeah, card. Yeah, so like if you're getting cards you don't want later game, this is better than Like the swindler chapels. that you kept swindling me on. <laughs> uh, um, but the, the rat catcher just, I like it. I like it's this nice card too. a lot. Um, just because you can pull it whenever you want the start of your turn to trash something. I, I also saw you going more of the, I'm going to try to get you as many curses as possible strategy. So I'm like, I'm just going to buy all the rat catchers and say, I don't care. Yeah. Which kind of helped a lot because I had all the rat catchers sitting there and just waiting for use. Yeah, so they didn't slow you down as much as I was hoping. But. So rat catcher is a great, like, for a counter and gaining curses card or whatever. Pretty much any time someone tries to hurt you, Rat Catcher's your answer. Yep. Uh, next up, the Watchtower. Uh, this is another good card in this set. Yeah, um, this is very good just to reveal to get rid of curses. Someone's like, here I have a curse, and you're like, my Watchtower sees that coming and says no. Yep, so that's a nice effect. The, uh, the play a Watchtower and draw a bunch of cards, mm -hmm. like that's, if you've played a lot, very handy. I've played that's this really good with, you get five. Um, like especially a nice combo is your Rat Catcher's are on your mat. You use that to trash a couple cards in your hand, and now your watchtower's letting you draw a couple more cards. Yeah, this is definitely... Nice. I, this card's grown on me a lot, because at first... You, it, I mean, this card isn't going to protect you from things like discard yeah. uh, attack cards or anything like that, but this is definitely going to protect you from, from curses. Gaming and stuff. Or stuff Swindlers. like the Swindler if you don't want the card. Uh, so, still, a very strong uh, defense card. In some ways, better than Moat, just because it mm -hmm. gets rid of curses. So, like, in the future, if you're caught without it... There's less in there you have to worry about because at least you're getting rid of them. Mm -hmm. So it also kind of nulls the uh, the need for you to give the other player curses if you don't really want to. Yeah. Because you can get rid of them yourself with this. Our other reaction card for this set was a tunnel. I won a couple of these. They never panned out, but they're like... I was glad. I was getting worried because I, I, I was like, I'm going to pick up this knight. He's going to pick up a lot of tunnels. But they panned out for points at yeah, least. They gave me a couple of nice points, which is nice. And if in the event that your knight made me re uh, reveal this and I could trash something else, I'd gain a gold. Um, or if you sea hagged this, I'd gain a gold and be like, eh. Yeah. This definitely made it harder to go some of these attack cards, mm -hmm. like uh, Minion, Minion and Knight. Nice. So uh, definitely a good defense card to pick up if your opponent's mm -hmm. going that, because getting golds is pretty nice. Um, but, yeah, uh, this is always good if you can, oops, have the chance to discard a card. Hey, you're dropping them like me now. Yeah. Uh, but, <laughs> yeah, just uh, if you get the opportunity to discard these easily, buy them, because they'll get you tons of gold. They'll mm -hmm. just stack up, and the gold will null that if you can do it a lot. 
when we were originally building this set, Tunnel was in with a warehouse from Seaside. And yeah, we were just like, just no. Because like, no. then it would just be warehouse and tunnel. You just in a way. buy all the tunnels and all the warehouses and just be like, discard the t tunnels, get the golds, discard the tunnels, get yeah. the golds. So if you ever have a card that allows you to choose to discard a card, then tunnel's pretty good. I guess minion allows you to discard cards. Yep. But tunnel's a nice little card. Uh, next up, Swindler. This is one of the uh, my favorite three attack cards, just because mm -hmm. it's basically you get a silver, and this you give the attack, opponent a good deal. Yeah, as you saw, I got him some curses. And he gave me a really good deal I, one I turn got, where I got he him trashed my hacks. curse for me, and then I trashed the curse he gave me. So yep. that was a nice deal. Um, but uh, so this is a fun three card. This is very good early buy. Mm -hmm. So. Um, where it's been downgraded to the Rat Catcher, which I think helped a more long game, mm -hmm. this definitely uh, is still a valid buy as your three card. Just because it also gives you two coins. It gives you the two coins. So too. if Silver so can be stolen and it's for some reason, then hey, Swindler's nice too. Yeah, so definitely a good three card early on. Because most likely you're going to hit Coppers and make more curses. Mm -hmm. So that's good. And if even if you don't, if you hit like um, one of the action cards your opponent bought, still pretty good because if you can turn it into something they don't want as... Like Bad. him giving me those sea hags. I yeah, I those. turned his walled villages into sea hags, which were it was really fun. Like I was just like, <laughs> I know he doesn't want these anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah, Swindler, one of my favorite. I didn't go five. this because I didn't. I was just like, I'm gonna be focused on keeping my deck small and efficient. I knew I was going walled village because I wanted to try that mm -hmm. in this game, and uh, I wanted to try it, but you swindled me out of it. So uh, I knew I could pick up at least one Swindler to add that on. Plus, I just like this as an early game card. Usually if this is in, this is going to be the early game uh, three card I buy. Uh, next up is Walled Village. Well, I'll it's... give you my two cents because it's very small. Because I bought it, and then he swindled it. I think it looks like a great card because it's. I think it's it's way way worth buying it if Village or Walled Village is in for the extra one coin. Uh huh. Because from what it looks like, it's like... I didn't get to use my second additional action. Okay, back on top. Yeah, I'll say, I won't say it's great. I'll say it's good. It's better than I thought it would be because when I first read it, I would go like, how often does that happen? Like, I know it happens sometimes, but definitely late game. Mm -hmm. the, the bottom effect's not going to happen. This just turns into your average village. But uh, early game, I got to put this back on top a lot, so that was good. Um, but when you think about it, it's like, does that really benefit me then? Because, like... You might as well just have another card. Well, but it's nice because if you if know you you're going to go dual action later. If you had two or something in the beginning of the game, and you got to play one, well, hey, the Wall Village is back on top, and it increases your chance of getting to play both or something. Yeah. So, I don't know. It just seems to kind of replace itself at that point. The yeah. good part is just having this, and if you just happen to only get one action card and go, oh, dang it, then at least you can put it back on top and hope the next time you get it, mm -hmm. you'll get two actions. Because I know I had a lot of turns where I had a Sea Hag and a Messenger in my hand. I'm like, I wish I had two actions or something. Yeah. So I feel this early game is better than your village, but at late game, I'd probably save the coin if necessary mm -hmm. if I was doing like multiple buys and just go normal villages. Though this buffer is nice mm -hmm. if you're getting clogged with victories and stuff for whatever reason, so... Uh, you have to determine if that you think that's worth it. This is the first time I've played with it, so I don't know how good it is going to be late game as much, but early game, definitely nice. Mm -hmm. Messenger. I was going to go this, but again, someone swindled me out of going it. I went this. I, I really, me. really, really like this card. It's I. It's just way better than its similar oh, yeah. card, so, like, Chancellor. If, 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 um... <coughs> Chancellor. Yeah, I'm just like, everybody hates Chancellor. This makes it so much like, just forget Chancellor is a card that even exists. Because uh, this, this is perfect. Thing. Like, even Woodcutter, if you yeah. think about it, Woodcutter isn't that great unless you just need the buy. I feel like combining those two and putting it in this in card, this card is just really nice. good. Like, this is a good buy card, and it's nice for when you're doing your action stacking. And if you got a few cards left there and you don't want to draw them and you rather shuffle and hope you get the good stuff you just have in your discard very good to activate it so uh, i just found a very effect. nasty combo you can use with this card what it's called the messenger running away from the watchtower do you know where i'm going with this no you buy your messenger and you have a watchtower in your hand so you gain a curse give everyone <laughs> else a curse and then trash <laughs> that curse funny. the watchtower yeah i could see that that'd be fun that's funny i don't know 
So, yeah, I can see that. They're, they're just fun things you can do with this card. Yeah, that, that bottom part makes this card even inter like really interesting as an early buy, because like, maybe you really want a walled village, but then you got to give everybody else one. You're, you have to kind of think, oh, I'm giving them a free card. I mean, you're getting a free card too, but you're mm -hmm. giving your opponents a free card. So you got to determine if that's worth it. So I picked up another rat catcher just because I was like, he already has a ton. <laughs> so adding one to that, whatever. I just need a rat catcher at this point because I wasn't trashing as much yeah. as I would have loved. But Messenger is a very fun card. Seag, one of the best four cards, people say. Um, I'd say for the beginning of the game, this is, and at the end, it's just dead. Yeah, this this card dies at the end. It, Once curses yeah. are gone, this is the most probably the most useless card. Yeah, it's just like, ooh, I discard the top, which tunnels in. That it's like, not as good. No. I was lucky not to hit it because mm -hmm. a few times I was like, oh, he didn't have a tunnel. So there was no just, why yeah. not. Like, I discarded a few good cards. I think he got one of my golds with this, which mm -hmm. I was like, dang it. Fun. So in those cases, that's when it's really good. But the chance of that happening, depending on the decks, is not great. Like, it's more worth it to get rid of this than have it as a card mm -hmm. taking up space in your hand. But very good because I mean, it's an I easy card to get I definitely noticed the Sea Hack did slow me down a bit when he gave me all those curses. Yeah. Because even though I had tons of rat catchers, I wasn't able to get up to my stashes or higher level cards. And I was later. able to hit the higher level cards. I think it was just the power of the stash <laughs> that uh, made it work really well. Um, so yeah, Sea Hag, definitely a, a good uh, four card buy. I think in some ways it beats Witch because it's a little faster to go unless you get the 5-2 split. Yeah. Though if you get Witch, later on it's still better because mm -hmm. two, drawing two cards is better than just discard your top card. Woo! So, uh, next up, another promo card we got here. Stash. Stash. I think this is probably going to be one of my favorite promo of the promos. Yeah, I think so, too. Um, this is really good. I, re I was looking at it, I looked at the back, and you can kind of see here. Yeah, the back is different. It's red. So you can tell where this is in the deck, because that's what the special effect is. You can put this anywhere in your deck. So, you'll know also when this is coming up. The thing is, though, your opponents also know when this is the top of a card on your deck. So, I was hoping there would be one on top, and I'd be able to go... Hey, if I swindle that, or if I sea hag that, yeah. or if I knight it, I'll just get rid of I it. I just is like, I'll just draw. <laughs> so that type of situation, keep an yeah. eye on that if you're an opponent trying to fight this. Um, um, you also know if it's in their hand too. Yeah, so you can you can obviously tell what they're gonna go. It really helped Ben seeing that he was able to go. I bought every single province with four stacks. Yeah, because he was able to stack them together. Um, the one defense card that would have helped this game with, with them going that was either uh, like a discard card like Militia, because uh, that's so easy to kill the eight. Yeah. Because um, you just go discard two. Minion would have been kind of useful too. Yeah, no, I was going to get to that. Minion. Minion was the way to fight this in this set, I feel. Because if you see they go that, and you have a minion in your hand, and you're doing the whole minion chain, which I think we have covered on the show, um, boom, you play the minion and you ruin it. You know, let's just skip to minion a while, because, <laughs> okay. like, we're talking about it. If you go the minion, you can just play them. You get some coins out of it. So if you just pretty much play a bunch of minions, you choose the two coins, then on your last minion, you go up, discard your hand, and you get more. Mm -hmm. And you can keep chaining them. Really easy way to start grabbing the provinces. The bonus for this card on this set is I would have been able to make them discard a hand of stash, which would have been So really I would have had good. to attempt to calculate when you're going to get your minion. Yeah, so I it's a little careful. harder in this one just because the trashing is a little slower with Ratcatcher, plus with the curses going out. Uh -huh. Plus, you have Swindler. So a way to fight this, this is if you swindle the other minions and turn them into duchies, duchies or, or whatever. Um, that's a way to fight this. Also, Knights. Mm -hmm. Knights was a defense card against this. So you could trash them. So minions a little riskier to go in this type of game. But uh, it can pay out. Maybe go on one or two of these just to stop a stash fight. Yeah, so I'd be curious if you did that same strategy and I got minion if it worked out as well. Because, like, this was pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, a thing I could do, buy all the stashes, get four in my hand, and then put four in my next top four. Yeah, so minion. I don't know. That'd be hard to pull off. So in a way, the, the stash is a little better than gold. Mm -hmm. Just because... I thought it was much it better. Up. Whereas gold's not so much. I mean, if your decks, if both of ours had been small, because mine was a larger one, yeah. I think golds would have been better, just because even if a discard happened, you usually have a better but chance of But that's where Messenger would that. come in, and yeah. you just put your deck in your discard and shuffle and put stash, or stack the stash. Yeah. 
All right, our last five cards you could buy was the Knights. I don't even know if we covered this one on the show. I think it was requested, but... So, we only got to one of them, the Victory Point one. <laughs> they have a um, lot of nice effects, too. Other Knights are better than others, obviously, with There's all the There's one Knight that is worth four. Yeah, which is funny, because I guess it's just not that good, which when I look at it, I go, eh, two buys. It's basically the same thing, but it only gives you two buys. Mm. Two buys, usually, in one card isn't bad, but it's not the end of the world. Like, mm. oh my gosh, I got two buys instead of just one. Usually you just need one buy, unless yeah. you're doing something crazy. Um, but the knights, they're a very interesting card. Um, typically, if one person goes a knight, everyone else will go knight. Yeah. Um, just because they are something you want to It also fight. depends the effect. Like, I picked yeah. up a knight to try to hit some of his stashes. And, and it was other two cards. points, so. Yeah, it was like two points, not bad. I would have liked some of the other ones where it's maybe like draw two cards, draw a card, or get two mm -hmm. actions, stuff like that. Um, my favorite knight out of the pile is one where when you trash it, you get a gold out of it. So it's Vander. Yeah, I like him. Just because uh, I like getting the gold out of trashing him. Pretty much, you buy these to kind of defend yourself. Remember in our it. last game, we said, is there a trash card that allows you to trash your own cards? There's yeah, one there knight that allows you to trash yeah. your own cards. So that is an attack card. One out of ten chance in the knight pile to get. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so the knights are fun. I enjoy them. They're not the, mm -hmm. the best always, but... They're interesting. Yeah. They have, they're have they a little more effects. friendlier than Saboteur. Much more friendly. Yeah, like, they only hit the three to six cards, so... Um, if people don't like Saboteur and you do... I hate probably Saboteur. have a better luck going this without pissing people off. I don't Though care they're, a little, they're a lot more complicated, I'd say, yeah. than Saboteur, because there's so many different ones. So a lot of people are going to probably be like, well, what's this one do compared to this one? Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, fun. I like the concept of having, like, a whole pie where there's a little bit different stuff. That's, that's a nice one. And then our event, our new one of the new events, is uh, the Summon. So uh, I used this. I, I did not. You, uh, I liked it because I got a. I knew the way I was playing the time I bought this. I think I might have only bought this once. Once. Was that my village was going to be over here and I had a hand of cards. I was like, I don't know if I'm going to get two actions mm -hmm. in that. So I'll use the summon and get my walled village and play next. So that was the time I used it. I liked it. Um, the one problem is early game. That's cost five, mm -hmm. so you're sacrificing buying a five card, which is typically pretty powerful, to get a four card immediately. In I'm wondering four less. if this would be better if it was paid four to get a three card. I don't know. Maybe, yeah. Maybe it would be more useful But there. I kind of like going up to the four card, because the four cards are still good. So like yeah. getting it into play right away, if you know you need it next turn, is very nice. So that part of the card is really good. Also, it depends the five cards that are. Yeah, that's maybe true. Maybe just to have five cards. Sometimes that you want. there's maybe there's sets that there aren't any five cards, and you're like, "What do I buy?" That's a good alternative. So I definitely like the concept. Yeah. It's cool. I like it. So uh, it's definitely nice. We'll have to add that into the event shuffle. Then mm -hmm. um, the only other problem too is with the promos. Is now we gotta find a place to put them. I guess we'll put them in the white slot in the box or something like that. Just because sure. otherwise there's not much. They didn't come in the storage and. The Dominion boxes are pretty big, so I guess you can store them in your white box. Um, I think we'll have to play with them a few more, because I know mm -hmm. these they, these cost a lot, which is why I'm glad we were sent them. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're worth it as much. Some of them might. Stash, I think, would be able Stash, to I could them. possibly see, just because it is pretty fun and powerful. Mm -hmm. But, uh... Summon. Summon's a fun one. Yeah. I mean, if you could get a pack of these at this point, that'd be nice. Yeah. But, uh... I mean, I think these were given out at, like, conventions or whatnot for stuff. So, I don't know. so I think that's how they, they worked. But that would have been cool just to pick up that. Because mm -hmm. it's like a free grab or something like that. But um, uh, Starting. How would you have started if, uh, with a 5-2 or a 4-2? 5-2, I would have gone... You know? I, I stashed, but I'm like, eh, maybe... I think I, I, would, I was thinking If I had the 5-2 split... split. I would have gone Rat Catcher because that's obvious. Yeah, yeah. And I'm debating. Do you go Summon to get the Sea Hag immediately? Oh yeah, you have that option. That that would be something interesting because I'm like the Knight early game isn't that powerful. No. The Minion early game one Minion is in and the Stash early. Yeah, but you could get the two coins and yeah. they built up a little quicker. But I guess Stash. But if you go the too. Minion, you're kind of saying, hey, I have to go more Minions. Yeah, usually, um, or else it's just not going to be. And same with important. stash, you're kind of committing already to stash, so your opponent can go, "Oh, here's what I'm going to do." 
Now, the nice thing about Stash is you get to rig your deck early. Yeah, so the, I, I, um, I think five out of the five cards, if you go five card, probably Stash. Stash. Maybe Summon if you want to start the attacking. Yep. Um, With four, three. Definitely um, Sea Hag, I feel. Sea Hag is your four cards you got to go. I, know. I, feel, cause I like get wanting smaller. to go Ratcatcher for my three card. Yeah, downgrade, downgrade to start trashing early. Just because you know in this set, there's Swindler and Sea Hag. Your opponent's going to try to get your curses. So I said, I'm going to get myself set up for Rat Catcher, which paid off a lot in the Yeah, game. I, I agree. Swindler, though, if you want to lay on the herd even more, mm -hmm. you can go that. Um, I feel if it's more than or a two-player defense player game, card. Possibly. Possibly, possibly, a, possibly like a Watchtower you could yeah. go if you wanted to. Yeah, I mean, but you got to get yeah. lucky and hope that when they play theirs, that yours is the one on top. Otherwise, I think the safer bet would be Rat Catcher in that mm -hmm. case, other than the protection card. Later on, probably, you can pick up some Watchtowers. Yeah. Uh, but that's it. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Leave comments below. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe for future episodes of Dominating Dominion. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. See ya.